In this quick video, we're going to see how we can create a material with texture in Blender and also how we can get rid of scenes inside the object that uh, we're going to use for the application of the material. So I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to create a new file here and do all the steps with you. So I'm going to start with a simple cube here in Blender and let's add a material with the texture. So for the material, you just need to go here and see if there is one. If there is no material, you can just click on new and that's it. You're going to have a material that you can work with. Now we're going to go in the shading. Shading is the interface when we can work with the material and we can manage the material nodes and the textures and everything else. So this is where we're going to bring our texture. But first we need a texture. So let's get one. Essentially, I'm going to go in Google and type texture to search for a texture. Now we already know that we, if we don't want scenes already, so if we want the repeated texture not to show cuts and uh, repetition, we need to search for texture seamless or seamless texture. Those won't have the seam already. But usually you, you search for texture in general. And sometimes, again, you get these uh, texture that when you repeat them, they're going to have these cuts. They're going to show these tiles. So they're not good for repetition. But we can make it good in uh, Blender using this technique. So I've searched for a texture that I liked. Uh, and I found this one here in uh, RawPixel, which is uh, kind of a uh, rocky uh, concrete uh, texture, but you can take whatever you want. And there are many textures here that you can see they cannot be repeated. They can only place, be placed once. So in my case, I've chosen this one here. You can also find it by searching uh, rough texture or uh, concrete texture. You can see fr it's free public domain and uh, you can get it just by joining raw pixel and uh, then you can save it. So you can just save it in your folder. Now, I've already downloaded it in my raw pixel folder and now I can get it from here. So this is gonna be the, the texture that I'm gonna use. Now you can click and drag and it won't work if you drag it directly on the uh, object, but you can drag it and drop it right here. So you can see now there is no texture, but when I link this to the base color, this color node to the base color is going to appear. Now, if you are finding difficult to do this really basic operation, you should check other video guides uh, before this, uh, or you can also check the Blender video course in the channel. Now, since we have the texture here, we can now work with this. Now, uh, we can use uh, the Node Wrangler, which is uh, an add-on to add a texture setup if we want, and we can work with this. But uh, for this example, it's not really needed. All I wanna do here is make sure that there is a UV and that it, it, the scale is to one, so it, it's not scale in here. Now let's go in the texture paint mode. Okay, so this is where we can paint. So if I paint right here, you can see it's painting on this uh, side. So we, we are painting actually on the map of the object. Now to see that, let me just go back, Control Z. Let's go to, and we can see also that we are already using a texture here, that it's uh, it went there automatically. Now, if we go to UV editing, that's another important step. We need to be sure we have a mapping. So you can see here that all the faces of this uh, object right here are actually corresponding to, to other faces in the mapping. So let me just select all. For an object to, to be correctly textured and correctly uh, painted, we need a mapping. We need to have a correct mapping, an unwrapped mapping. And again, we dedicated other video guides to this topic, so you, you can check those. Now this is really easy because it's already mapped, it's already prepared for us by Blender, and it's also an easy object to map because it only has six faces. And so if I select again all the faces, I can see all the faces in there. Now what I wanna do is first of all, show the texture also here. So let me just click and drag with the middle mouse to show here the, 
the texture with the third visualization, viewport shading, material preview. Now, since uh, we are using single parts and not uh, only one texture on a single uh, faces, we are not seeing the repetition. We are not repeating the texture. So to repeat the texture, what I'm going to do is select all the faces here and scale them. Now I can also just scale them a little bit only in this direction so it's not distorted and the texture will look better. And then I'm just going to scale the texture up. This means that you can see there if I scale it like this, it's going to be repeated many, many times. And if I look carefully, let me just, just scale it a little less. If you look carefully, you're going to have seams somewhere if the texture is not repeated correctly. So you can see here, this is a pretty visible seam. Now, sometimes texture uh, can do a really good job by hiding the, the seam automatically. Now, seams also will show if I not only scale, but also if I move these uh, around. So if I move it like this, eventually I'm going to see some seams. There you go. So let's try to work on this scene right here, which is pretty visible. How can I fix that? Well, it's really simple. Let's go to texture paint and let's see where, where the that scene was. Let me just switch here also. Well, I'm going to use this is uh, more visible here. There you go. So that's another scene right there. So there you go. That's the scene we are looking for. Let's fix it. So to fix it, I'm just going to go here in the tools of the texture paint and I'm going to use the clone. Then I want to perhaps take a little bit of this part of the image and bring it here. So I'm going to press the control key or command key on my keyboard and press with the left mouse. So you can see also the cursor goes in there and now I can click only I'm going to leave the control key. I'm going to click only and drag the left mouse. And you can see I'm just transferring these pixels from here to this other side. Now make sure that the repetition is uh, not too evident. So if I continue to brush with this, you can see that it's going to be more evident because I'm, I'm using the same brush all over again. So make sure you kind of randomize uh, the, the pixels here to hide it a little bit. So I don't like this point. So I'm going to get it from here, control click with the left mouse and click also this point. So you can see now it's pretty hidden. And also I can see a little bit up here. So I'm just going to get this, try to, you know, take some pixels from another part of the image and try to, well, you can see this, this is visibly a repetition. So I'm just going to try to hide it a little bit. So it's just a game of uh, transferring pixels and hide these seams using the, the same parts of, of the image and then you move forward and also if you don't see something if you see something that you don't like you can you know just control click and try to 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 transfer some some details from there also okay so once you understand it's really easy now you, you can also use the soften if, if you want to blur but you can see it's uh, kind of losing the details you can also smear, but I, I don't think that these are really good effect to hide the seams. I think the best one is uh, the clone tool and that's it. Now we're going to stop for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated for more videos. If you want to thank us, if you want to support us more, join the video as a supporter and check our other video courses and video guides that you can find in the channel. So that's all for this and thank you for watching and see you in the next video guide.